the chronic pain is a manifestation at the feeling level right so these three layers of the body are there annamaya kosha pranamaya kosha manomaya kosha so the feeling is very closer to the body so that's why i always say from thinking you start moving into feeling feeling is healing at the feeling level there is a labeling raga dvesha cold and hot i like i dislike at the main, at the lower mind level not at the higher mind level it like level so now any disease or psychosomatic disease in the body starts from the deep within adi in the vyadi that means the disease comes to the surface later it starts deep inside okay what they have found is most of the cancer or many of these diseases psychosomatic diseases come from the emotional disturbance invariably most of the cancer patients have a psychosomatic um, emotional turbulence sometime back in their life okay so what happens is that any any emotional turbulence will create a lot of biochemical reactions in the body and why did the emotions happen because recollective memory not leaving the present moment or reacting to external situation some way so somebody somebody left somebody like i'm saying uh, uh, relationship broken the person becomes heartbroken emotional disturbance the outer situation has gone inside now he'll remember it again and again again and again recreate the situation again and again the body biochemical reactions happen in the body ultimately experience in the body so in the body what's happening the mind the, the manomaya kosha will start with laboring as raga and vesha continuously it will go on in your dreams also deep sleep also so that means you are creating a huge amount of uh, raga dvesha bundle huge okay now this raga dvesha ultimately manifests in the body as some disease or pain it comes to surface so when it comes to surface how do you react the first reaction is i want to avoid the pain i don't want the pain the moment you avoid another raga dvesha is created that that bundle gets pushed <laughs> you are actually creating strengthening the raga or dvesha both raga or dvesha both are possible you are that storehouse of what you call as samskara and vasana you are strengthening when you react it's all unconscious again and again remember some outer situation again and again can create into disturbance again and again it becomes raga dvesha and it becomes pain it becomes uncomfortable pain in stomach leg or body then you i don't uncomfortable pain again and again it's like a uh, vicious circle every time when you react you are creating further raga dvesha so now how do you get out of this cycle of course you go to a doctor get a treatment people get a cancer treatment they'll remove the surface level cancer uh, uh, what i call as disease but no deeper treatment doesn't happen the root cause root cause treatment the root treatment is adi in the vyadi the vyadi comes from the deeper at the deeper level it's emotional disturbance at this more deeper level is avidya adnana ignorance atma adnana that's the deeper level treatment that's why we say avidya or ignorance and the body and the mind and the intellect is the deepest disease it's called bhava roga bhava means disease of existence all other disease or symptoms all other things are symptoms of that your relationship problems your family problems your health problems your financial problems your money problems your uh, what you call as uh, uh, mental disturbances emotional disturbances everything is a symptom of adnana avidya this is called bhava roga it's called samsara the treatment has to be done deeper level okay so now what will happen to this chronic disease the chronic disease you, your it's never ending cycle the disease comes to the surface of the body you react again again it becomes other side you have come to the body it stayed for some time it will disappear you are prolonging that it's like a water pond is there you keep on stirring the water pond 
it will never waves will never stop that's why it's called chitta vritti in vedanta vritti means thought waves okay thought waves keeps coming see basically you can say raga dvesha sensation at basic level feeling is raga dvesha at the mind level okay at the at the emotional level is kama krodha vada masar moha loba at the intellectual level past and future memories and what i should do worry and all those things to translate into so this is a vicious circle we have got in you have to cut the vicious circle at the intellectual level atmadana clarity should be there at the deeper level we should learn how to be a sakshi witness to the pain witness to the pain doesn't reduce the pain witness to the pain stops further reactions to the pain breaks the cycle breaks the cycle of raga dvesha okay so then if you become witness then if you don't react the raga dvesha will surface to the surface becomes pain may become intense then disappear because everything in the world is energy energy has is a wave it comes up it goes down it cannot it has to go down it will never go keep on going up but by reacting constantly reacting will never allow to go it down it will keep on disturbing again and again so if you are able to witness the pain without reacting to that your raga desha samskara starts getting depleted the further then what happen next level samskara will come up next level you have created huge or a huge storehouse is created the storehouse start getting depleted you start getting relief so witnessing the sensation and witnessing the feeling is the key that's why i always said earlier i said healing is feeling is healing you have to be aware of the feeling don't react to the feeling then you are getting a freedom this is the key understand yes or no clear so ramana maharshi sat for meditation the mosquito start eating his half the body I mean ramana maharshi is not super supernatural super superman being will be there you witness the pain so the pain samskara will go the pain threshold will reduce then one day he was able to surgery he was, he was go through surgery without anesthesia also all right so our what are the pain samskara will start coming now raga dvesha is the question answered anybody has a question on this follow up question on this emotional disturbances is not fully present but from the past which is there then there is the question of reacting to that no no so emotional disturbance see what, what i have yes text is there probably somebody is not there So I know that okay, this person is not there. For some time, it will be there, and we are concerned and we move on. Some things which are not known to us, and which comes as a baggage. So that's where that's the key is. The question is emotional disturbance which comes from the past, which I don't know exact situation. It will come and create. So here the key is. Ultimately, you can catch the thief at the feeling level. It causes disturbance at the body level, sensation level. That's why the body is the kshetra. or field of experience if you are able to observe that field of experience sensation level so then what will happen raga dvesha is getting triggered will start depleting you don't have to understand the cause people in uh, what i call past life regression they will find out what happened in the past life and all so you don't have to go to that particular level of cause you have to catch it at the manifestation level manifestation is happening at the physical level at the feeling at the feeling level that's why always i say feeling is healing be with the feeling but don't react to the feeling okay this is the key any questions the same question everything everything you have to catch at the point of body mind interface he is guru ji one prashna ide guru ji ah one nisha pakane body disease ha Uh, see uh, the question here is uh, every disease comes from adi in the vyadi okay disease starts at the deeper level it comes to surface level now the question is should the body be treated or not okay there are people 
who live a life of surrender to God. No need to treat the body. Whatever has to happen with Prarabdha Karma will happen. <laughs> There's total surrender. Okay. In that case, the disease may come to the surface of the body, it may subside, or it may person may die also. That means he has surrendered the ego completely. Birth and death doesn't matter to him. So that happens in some of the people who are very, very evolved souls. Ramana Maharshi, the cancer was there. He said, Don't treat. Let it be there. It's painful, painful. I'm saying we can't say. We can't say, right? We can't say. Whether body will deteriorate further or not, we don't say. We don't know whether it's because it's based on the stored Parabdha Karma. How much Parabdha Karma is there? Will, or this Parabdha Karma will uh, reach a peak. It doesn't go to deteriorate. It will carry for next life also if possible. We don't know. So what is the cycle of this Parabdha Karma? How long? We don't know. So uh, most of us or all of us will have to take a call. At this level is the threshold. Beyond that, I'll go to treat it. So, I mean, we are not that surrendered. <laughs> that life and death doesn't matter to us. <laughs> and pain also, after beyond a certain point, we can't handle it. <laughs> so, but apply the principle. Don't react with discretion. Okay. Uh, somebody has a question on Zoom. Uh, Guruji, Namaste. Uma. Hi. Uma. I have a Adike Hogi, the doctor Trauru, Salpa, the Keno blood test Marsudru, Yeneno, Testella Marsi Amele, Adelan Armalo, in Salpa Medicine, who could Ramel and Madadro, then Vasine Aguila Sumardisa. He would leg Lubertaito. Amel or one month headadro. You simply neglect it, Tanputro. Amel Nanu Sumnagut, Adien Vasa Lila, Nanu Sumnagut, Adu Gamananu, Adrebele, Kadmeakta Hoito, Amel Yava Hoitun, Tanegotagila. So, Gamana. So see, basically the question question is, she had a bub, uh, what is that? Uh, boils on her body. No amount of medical treatment solved the problem. And the doctor said, neglect it. She neglected it after some time, it disappeared. Her question is, should I neglect it? Neglect means not give attention to it. Or should I give attention to it and not react it? I'm saying both mean same things. So if you have neglect, <laughs> you have to give attention, don't react. <laughs> right? So what happens is we give attention, too much attention. Oh, this boil is there, boil is there. I don't want boil. That's the attention. So the boil is there, let it be there, is neglection. You're, you're not reacting to that. Uh, uh? Neglect is different from don't react. No, no. Neglect means, see here, neglect, ignore. ignore. You, have, you have a disease. <laughs> You are ignoring, you are not giving importance to that and going ahead with your life. So, so there's not, not reacting. That itself is what we are saying is be live a non-reactive life. Is it clear? Yes, Karuji. Huh. Not related to this question. It's a different question. Okay, this question is over. Next question. <laughs> 